and welcome to another episode of Monday Night Raw Recap. And man, has this Monday Night Raw is on fire. Oh yeah. Um, you got your annoyance, you got your crazy, you got your lunatic, you got your whatever. Awesomeness. So. Um, Started off, we had another tribute to Roman Reigns. Yeah. And then... Yeah, so you got Spare Corbin standing in the ring with the Universal title. And of course, he's saying about last week. Then, he's saying he's giving his best to Roman. But, he's saying when he gets back, he hopes he goes to SmackDown and not Raw. Because, he goes, you know what? The title does look good on me, right? She doesn't like it. No, I don't. She she didn't like it. She 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 gave him a little middle finger. Kind of yeah. And of course, and then Paul Heyman and Lesnar come out, and of course Paul Heyman does the talking, and not Lesnar because you know Lesnar doesn't talk at all. And then well, he does talk, but he just screams like a girl. And then Ron Strowman comes out because he hears. Lesnar and Paul, Paul Heyman saying he, Lesnar's going to win. And then he's giving him a stare down, telling Lesnar you're going to get these hands. Because he's winning at Crown Jewel. He's being the new uh, Universal Champion. He does three power slams to uh, Corbin. And Lesnar F5s to the monster. Quick. Well, while he's F5ing Strowman, he, wasn't he, didn't he look like he was struggling to hold him in? Yep. And then, um, the monster quickly gets upstairs, and he's on fire. He's like, just wait, just wait to control. Did it look like Paul Heyman got fatter? <laughs> yeah, she he, thinks... I'm sorry, but he did look a little fatter, in my she, opinion. But she looks, I don't know, it could have been the suit, it could have been a little big, but she thinks it's because he got fat. Probably because Brock Lesnar was working out, and while he's working out, you know, all he sees is probably Paul Heyman got <laughs> Moving on to the first then, match of the night. Finn Balor versus Bobby Lashley. And, of course, when Finn Balor's coming out, he's staring at Baron Corbin, doing too sweet and bye to him. <laughs> and, um... Leo Rush coming out first, as always. Leo Rush coming out before Lashley comes out and saying, Lashley, Lashley, there's your annoyance again. And then, finally, Bobby Lashley comes out, uh, doing their match, doing their match. And he's saying, Lashley, Lashley, did the whole match, being annoying, blah, blah, blah. And, um, I ended up being a DQ, Finn Balor wins. But I know at the ending, Bobby Lashley holed Finn Balor, and then you see Leah Rush slap in Finn Balor's face, like, blah, 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 blah. And taunting him, saying, you're not as good as Bobby Lashley, you're not the money, or whatever like that. So, yeah, and then I leave. Mm -hmm. Then it continues and backstage. Then backstage. Because he got a message. Now, um, yeah. And then he's going to Corbin, and Corbin's like, you, sh you showed your impressive and all that. And he goes, you're going to go in the World Cup tournament. And Bobby goes, wait, the World Cup tournament's full. Who am I replacing? And Corbin goes, you're replacing someone that didn't qualify, John Cena. So. But we know the real reason why they're replacing John Cena. Because John Cena sucks? Uh, no, then you say that there was like something leaked online saying that Cena won't be able to participate. Yeah, something like that. Even though after all the um, the hype and all the posters and everything that's been on TV and stuff saying that John Cena's going to be there. And John Cena's saying that he's going to be there. Well, he might do like he did before, be in the audience. So, that was that. Uh, then the second match, Missy is Lita, Trish Stratus, Natalia, Bailey, Sasha, versus Mickey James, Alicia Fox, and the Riot Squad. So oh. pretty much... A ten women... Uh, ten, f a five on five. So, um, pretty much rematches from Evolution, just more together. Well, wouldn't the rematches be, like, the... the Battle Bi Royale? All they did was take, um... Lita and Trish, Trish's match, and then combine it with Natal and Natalia in theirs. So basically, you took the um, 
the tag team matches and just fuse them together in one big rematch. But that match was good. They were all in the ring doing the thing. Natalia was the one that won the match for everybody. Uh, Natalia won for Lita, Trish, and Bailey and Sasha. And everybody's all celebrating in the ring and all that. Of course. Mm -hmm. But that was that match. It was a good match. Yeah. Um. And then our boy, Elias. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Wasn't he in the ring? And he was going to sing and he was playing his guitar? Yeah. He's an okay wrestler. It's just that when he sings, it sucks. You said that while he was a bat, while he was a heel. Now he's a face character. Now you're well. He's a, he's an okay when he he's an okay wrestler. It's just sometimes when he plays the guitar, it's okay just as long as he doesn't open his trap. But <laughs> but you like Missy? The no, Missy. We that know was the truth. Funny. We know the truth. Your ex was a singer. Who played guitar and he was trying oh. wanted to be a country star and he left you at the oh. altar. That that's the real reason why you hate Elias because he looks just like your boy. Elias your sang a song for Corbin. Well, he was backstage. Yeah, backstage. He said he's gonna sing a song for Corbin, so he's singing a song for Corbin. Then Corbin comes out, stares at him, go back in. He's saying, Wait, I didn't get to the last part. He said, um Stephanie. Yeah. You're um, Stephanie's bitch. Almost. I think he was yeah. a bitch. And then Mahal attacked him. And then Corbin comes out laughing and says, Mahal tuned you. And said, get back and ready for your match. Oh, boy. And then that led to the next match, Justin. Yeah. I get the short, the shortest one. Elias versus Jinder. Because that was okay matching, yep. Yeah. And actually... Never read. <laughs> yeah. And then Lies actually ends up winning. Mm -hmm. And, yep. And then you got the next match after that. You have Ascension versus Rue Gable versus AOP. Also, it's a pain. Of course, that was actually a kind of quick match. Well, that. well, at least this time it was different. Instead of it being the Ascension and Bobby Roode and Gable, now they just added Authors of, uh, authors of Pain in it. Yeah. And Rune and Gable actually won. I think they pinned the Ascension. Yeah. Because AOP attacked Rude and Gable from behind the stand until I think it was the Ascension they pinned. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Um, well, before the next thing, they did the, the, um, they had a little special tribute for Roman. And it was the... Um, or was it the um, the kids at the the Dallas hospital or something? Yeah, they were all t telling was... Roman to get well, and it was so cute and adorable. Yeah, it's so it was cute. Sad, it was cute. It was, it was adorable. It was cute seeing them. It's real nice seeing that all the superstars wishing the kids well, and then the kids are the ones that wish the the their hero well. Yep, and then and then the being. The Dean and Seth Rollins wonder what Dean did, what he Why did. Why did he do it? Who's okay. his daddy, and what does he do? Seth Rollins, he comes out, he takes everyone for Roman. And he's saying, the same night he became third-time champ. He said, it, he said it's sad, he should be out here with his partner, his brother, tag team champ, Dean. But he's saying... Um, Dean. De Why would Dean just attack him? Why? Was it the spur of the moment? Was it payback from when Seth Rollins beat, beat him with a chair? Dean, uh, Seth's confused. He don't know. He's the only one that can actually tell you that, that answer is Dean himself. So you said for Dean to come and be a man and talk to him about it. And Dean's then, theme music plays and he's nowhere to be seen. And then he's up on the ramp knocking the shield entrance. And he, so it's like, really? Now you're going to mock the shield entrance. Right, you he, betrayed us. You betrayed me. At least I was a man and told you why I turned. Mm -hmm. And he goes, use those stairs. You know how to use them. Come down. Face me like a man and tell me right now what you but then Dean pulls a microphone and never uses it. No, he pulls it out behind he just, him. He just gives him the stare. And the Seth Rollins is like, maybe that uh, word you use is actually 
Maybe is the it thing the, we call you is the same. Is, is, right? A lunatic. And then that got him a little pissed. He's like, and yeah, I, have so, pet, I have to pet her down because she's getting all. And then she's getting all. And then, and then Sephron's about to get up there, and then Dean just goes, oh, oh boy, oh boy, and walks away. Mm-hmm. And then Seth goes upstairs and goes back in the ring, and then, yep, that's how that ended. No matter what's gonna happen, we know Ashley's not gonna be. It's never gonna turn. I'm on always him. gonna be a Dean person. Always a Dean. Mm-hmm. Never a turn on him. What if Dean? Nope. Mer- what if Dean? Blows up a, uh, a bus full of little ladies. Are you still gonna be a? He's never Campbell? gonna do that. He's crazy. You don't know what he could do. He snapped on Look. Seth Rollins for no reason. Can, are you thinking about what um, Heath Ledger did in that movie? Well, he does look like he's a, he does look like a Joker. He's just as crazy. What, All he, he needs I is just the face paint. I don't think he would dress up in a nightgown, a uh, hospital nightgown, and <laughs> Missy, you did that once. On Halloween. Um, okay. And then, next match, Missy, is Nia Jax versus Ember Moon. Your favorite uh, match, because anything with Nia Jax, you love it, Missy. And then, that match was good. Um, Mm -hmm. just before the match ended, Tamina came out. You think it's a DQ. And then, that was just a distraction for Nia Jax to, um... Uh, knocked Amber Moon and do the leg drop move on her and pinned her and then Tamina and Nia Jax did a stare down. Yeah, cousin versus cousin. Pretty but, much. Will be cousin versus cousin. Well, the whole match started with, with Ember and Nia because Ember ended up challenging Nia Jax in the yeah. beginning because she wanted to earn her respect. Yeah. And nothing's better than earning respect than fighting in the ring. So, and mm. then the next match, Justin. Ooh, the Lucha House Party with Kalisto and Lince Dorado and someone else. Someone Grand Mentalik. Huh? Grand Mentalik's the other house party member. I have no idea about this. You told me that this was like a two. That they are. Especially... They were on two hundred five. Yeah. What have I been missing? It's awesome. Yeah. Total. And they were, and they were fight, and they fighting the revival. Yep, and that match was good. It was good. Kalisto flipping, Lince Dorado flipping, and Fring doing all the moves. And, of course, for their de- ring debut for Raw, they win. Mm-hmm. Yep. They feel good. like the New Day, but luchadors. But in, there's no pancakes. There's a piñata. But they're better than them. No there's no is it pancakes. Is New Day because she thinks Biggie is gross? Oh, my God. What are they going to do? They pull pancakes out of their ass butts. Oh, Big E says it, but Ash, but Missy, you're the one who's like, you're the one who's going to be like, I would want some of them pancakes. No, I don't know Flappy Jacks. You want Flappy Jacks. Gross. You bought their cereal. Especially, no I don't. You bought their (laughs) cereal once and ate it. Big E, especially when he did it, I don't remember if it was Seamus or Cesaro that he did that sick move over top of him with his whatever. (laughs) Ugh. That was wrong. Well, <laughs> instead of th- giving, well, instead of them throwing pancakes at people, the Lucha House probably might throw tamales. Nah, they would throw candy. From no, their, yeah. tamales. Oh, they throw candy from out of their. Look, thing. look, candy is Maddie dandy, but <laughs> candy is dandy, Car- but, spa- but tamales and Spanish food, Car- freshly Car- made Spanish food, will make everybody happy and cheer lucha, lucha. Car- Shane threw uh, golden coins to the audience. They better been chocolate. They were chocolate, I'm what pretty th- sure. I don't think it'd be real. So pretty much the lucha party can do the same thing. They throw some junk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look. Instead of a cereal, they can hold a box and th- and have the um rice, rice with beans. Give it, mm-hmm. pour, give it to the children. You're supposed to put rice on wedding days or something like that. There was a there's that's a- that's undercooked white rice. We're talking about the Spanish kind, the kind that my father and grandmother made. The one that they 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 fry they fry it up. So it's nice and brown, and they put the, the, the beans in it. I don't think the audience would want that. They probably would rather candy, because there's a lot of kids. Hey, kids um, don't need candy. They need growing food. Well, they're going to get candy on Halloween. And then... Then what about pancakes? Um, that's good. That's pancakes. 
And then, you get pancakes at McDonald's. Yeah. Alright, Bubby. And then the next match ends up being Dolph Ziggler versus Apollo Will Cruz. Ziggy Wiggy. Of course, Dolph Ziggler talks before the match started started because he was saying how he's gonna he's gonna win the World Cup and he's gonna beat Kurt Angle and blah 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 because he's in the first round of the tournament Whoa. against Kurt Angle. Well, before the match even started, Kurt Angle had a few words saying that how he's gonna win. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but, um... Both won that. Yeah, of course. But here's the thing. Dana broke, broke off with, uh, with uh, Titus Worldwide, and now Apollo Crews is by himself. What happened? Is, is Titus Worldwide dead? I kind of gave them the finger as well, but I, in the beginning. Yeah, she don't like them either. She calls them dolls, Ziggy Wiggy, and I don't know what she calls Drew. Mac and Drew. Cheese. Drooly. Drew, Drew Mac like and Cheese. Like he drools. Because <laughs> he's a loser. So, Drew Mac and Cheese. That match was okay. Classic, because it's okay because you knew it's Dolph Ziggy Ziggler Wiggy. was going to win. He's Ziggy of Wiggy. Course. But, um, of course, with like 10 minutes left to Raw, um, have Taker and Kane coming out and they're talking. I did not like Undertaker's look with the... With the was it the old ministry look with just the hoodie? Of course. I like the hat and coat. I don't really like the hoodie. Unless you're actually coming out in full robe. Of course. No sleeveless thingy. Alright, what is it, Bubby? Of course they're talking about what they're going to do to DX at Crown Jewel. They're going to take their souls to hell and all that stuff. I know that. And then DX's music comes out. And you see Triple H coming out with the glow sticks. Yep. And you're like, like, where's Sean? Where's Sean? Where's Sean? They're like, where's Sean? And then Triple, I, Triple, Triple H, H is like... He's pointing. No, he's doing like this. He's pointing. Then King's walking out of the ring. Yep. And then all of a sudden, switching music to Undertaker. Out of yeah. nowhere. That was awesome. And then, of course, they sneak out. He sneaks out of the ring. They're playing their music and that and all that. And then... Undertaker f uh, does the sit up. Yep, and then his music comes out and it ends up being a stare like that. Everything goes purple. So, that was pretty much Monday Night Raw. What did you think of it? I mean, I thought it was cool. Yeah. It was a cool Monday Night Raw. I mean, it had its moments. It was only cool. I mean, it has its annoyance, it has its funniness, it has its lunaticness. Yep. But then again, it's coming right after a pay per view. So. so how can you, the, the big thing is, what can Monday Night Raw do to have the same impact or follow up that same energy as the first ever uh, all-women pay-per-view evolution? Would it have been an all-women's Monday Night Raw? That would have been actually pretty cool to see. Oh. The women taking over Raw. They ha they Shanghai all the guys in the back in the locker room, and they're like saying oh, they got the keys, and they're going, "We run the show now." Yeah, wouldn't so, that be funny? Mm -hmm. Never know. So, what did you guys think? Did you like it? Was it okay? Did you think they could have done better? What not? Mm -hmm. Did you like all the craziness that happened? Do, do you, what do you think is going to happen with Dean Ambrose? Why did he snap? Did he? Did he? Did do you like Dean? What he's doing? Do is he off his meds? I mean, I I, I like Dean no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, um, the Tamina the Tamina Nia Jax match. Cousins of the Rock. Who's gonna win? Do you like the Lucha Party? Yeah. Coming on from two or five. I mean, yeah. Just let us know. Is Brock Lesnar gonna get those hands? Oh, he is. Yeah. We know Paul Heyman might get those hands. Oh, yeah. He looks like a penguin, like a big Oops. oversized fat penguin. <laughs> Who's going to get Baron Corbin? Is it Finn Balor or Elias? Elias. Is Elias and Elias Finn, is is Elias and Finn going to team up against Baron Corbin? Constable Corbin? We keep forgetting that. His name is Constable. You mean? Even though know? it's so, it's a pointless title. So, yeah. So, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for more Raw Recap. Bye! Bye.